going to do? Well, I'm just trying to make some room here for my thing. Hello, guys. It's Joanna from Parish of Smartphone Repair. Today, we're going to be working on an iPhone 7 here, okay? I'm trying to get you a really good view of my tabletop. I had to... I had to duct tape my uh, webcam onto my actual DSLR camera tripod, but you know, eBay tape works. So, I know there's nobody in here right now, um, but that's okay because I gotta get this customer's phone done. Um, he's a really good customer and he always brings me his phones. And he brought to me earlier this morning, you know, and dropped it off. And I had to feed Jolene. Then she wanted to take a bath and different stuff. So I had to take care of the kids. And then I took them to Grandma and Grandpa's to drop them off so I can get his phone done. So, off camera here, plugging in my hair dryer. <sighs> And I know you're really supposed to have a heat gun. Everybody has a heat gun, but this is why I don't like a heat gun. So I use my my uh, professional hair dryer that my mother got me because she was a professional hair dryer. And I turn it on hot. I turn on hot. And I turn on hot. I do it. Up. I do my hair dryer. It's loud. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. So there's a PC. Oh wait, I forgot to take the uh, the end screws out. Let's do that first before we try to take the screen off. So get out my handy dandy screwdriver kit here, which I love. It has all the little different heads in it for all the different pinelobe screws, uh, straight screws, you know. Phillips, whatever you want. Hexagonal ones, they're in here too. Yeah, that's it. The star. And I do have a screw mat here, guys. If you're going to do iPhone repair, I recommend you buy a screw mat. Ooh, excuse me. So, I'm going to try to put you here so you can see what I'm doing. So the Penelope screws are here by the charging port, which you remove, you know. Coming out. Which doesn't look like it is, does it? That's the right size. My eight. But that one's dirty, maybe. Yeah, that one's coming out. Maybe these iPhone 7s, they, oh, that's what it is. They don't just pop up. Okay. That's why I use the screw mat, guys. Because if you don't and you lose the Penelope screw, then you're in trouble. And I'm telling you, this one looks like it's been stripped. I'm going to try a little bigger size. That was 0.8. What's this one? That's too big. That's 1.2. T2. Maybe that's the one I need. But, you know, that's why you have a universal screw kit. If you're going to do phone repair. See, that one's too big. Feels like. Oh shit. Maybe the screw was already loose. I just popped it out. Okay. Didn't mean to do that. But I did. So I'm gonna look for my screw. Because it's like, where did it go? It just popped out and I didn't even hear it hit anything. It's a floor. It's another reason I'm doing that while the kids aren't here. Mm -hmm. 
but the adhesive is going to hold it on there too. So it won't be the end of the world if we lose. One penelope screw, plus I might have an extra one laying around somewhere. So I'm going to put the one I see up here in the white. That is just so weird. See, that's the kind of shit that happens all the time to me. But... That screw looked like it had already been stripped, so that's not my fault either. Okay. My husband does have a magnet, like a screwdriver magnet thing. He used to pick up screws in the yard and stuff, so I'll see if I can find it. By the time we're all done, and it's, you know, ready to put all back together. Okay, sorry. So I'm, I'm heating up the front glass here. The reason I'm holding my hair dryer kind of far away is because, I mean, the LCD is bad on this one already. But if you have one with a good LCD, you can sell the broken screen, guys. I have done it, as long as they're OEM. Um, and you don't want to create hot marks on the LCD touch screen under the glass. So, that's why I'm showing it to you like that. Sorry it was so loud. I'm sorry. See, it's trying to get you so where you can see what I'm doing. Okay, now I get my metal guitar pick. If I had my open sesame tool, I'd be using it, but I lost it. I need another one. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just going to insert my screw my uh, guitar pick here and we're, our goal is to run it around the whole outside this is an iphone 7 plus joanna keep telling yourself that because this is not going to open like an iphone 6 which i do iphones i can do iphone 6s in my sleep 6s whatever it's no big deal okay so then we insert our guitar pick here sorry i keep trying to keep it turned to the camera so you guys can see i'm just trying to cut the adhesive that may be under the screen. Alex has probably already broke this phone multiple times, so there might not be any adhesive under the screen. But just in case there is, we're trying to loosen it all here. Now the top, it's not going to go around because that's where it comes together. And this opens, I'm looking at my mat here. So say this, this is the back of the screen, guys. Okay, so it's like this. It opens to a book to the right. But we got to pull down the screen and then attach it up here and then fold it open first. Okay, so I'm just trying to get a grip on it, guys. And then I will, uh... okay, so you can see me from the bottom. I'm working my fingers in there. Let me just slightly, just slightly, just slightly there. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Get out of there. Okay. It's loose. And I'm doing this slowly because of all the cabling. Okay, guys. All right. She's open. Now. Thing with these iPhone sevens are they have a Y shaped screw. I'm trying to show you the screwdriver head. But you're gonna want the Y shaped screwdriver. I don't know what it's officially called. A tri tip, tri wing tip, maybe. So first thing I'm gonna do is just start. Taking the screws off here. This is the screen assembly. And I put them right on my magnet board on the dot. 
showing which spot they came out of because these screws are so tiny and everything is so it's also customized for this iPhone that if you put the wrong screw in the wrong hole, you're going to tear a hole in the motherboard and your phone is not going to work anymore. And you're going to have to send it off for motherboard repair, which I'm not going to do that. I can't do that. And I am not, I'm going to, you know, I always attempt to avoid that by putting the screws in the right spot on the magnet board. Okay. This may be a long, tedious video, but I just thought, why not, right? Why not? Okay. And I tried to get my camera as close as I can. I wish I could get it closer. Oh, wait, maybe that's... Is that better, guys? I know there's nobody in the chat, but that's okay. I think that looks pretty, that looks like a better view. I'm sharing it to my Facebook page in case there's anybody on Facebook who sees it and wants to come in and join us. Okay. All right, so we got all the T-nuts, T-wing, tri-wing screws. I think that's what they call it, tri-wing screws. And I always put, I always put the little cover right there. Okay, now the top. Yeah, the top has tri-wing screws too, so I'm going to go ahead and remove those just to get it over with. And I'm kind of working around my tripod, so please bear with me if I'm a little slower. And this is the first time I've done an iPhone 7 Plus. Now, I've done the regular 7s, not the Plus. What? It looks like there's a... Looks like there's a spot missing on my board for that screw. Because this one... What is that? That's the... This one was here. I'm gonna, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure. I'm gonna put that one there though. So I remember it was more on top than to the side. Oh, oh, that's the wrong one here, right here. Okay, now we take this cover off. And we're going to go ahead and unconnect this flex cable. So I usually use my fingers for this. I'm looking for a good plastic tool so my fingers won't be in the way, maybe. No, my head's in the way. Come on, baby. There, there it popped out. Okay. That is the front camera, um, headphone jack, <coughs> proximity sensor. That cable runs all that up there. And I'll tell you more about it when we get to that part. So now I'm going to disconnect, and I'm not going to use this tool. I'm going to use my fingernail, my thumbnail. Maybe I should try to do it like this so you guys can see it, though. I'm just, I always do, I always use my nails. Oh no, that wasn't supposed to come unscrewed. No, 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 no. No, you're going to go back in there. That's a screw joint that holds the next screw that sits on top of it. Okay. There, see, I use my fingernails because I know I'm not going to damage the flex cable with my fingernails. 
And that's the backlight connector, I think. Okay, so now we actually have the screen separate from the back housing, AKA motherboard, all that good stuff. And I gotta change the loudspeaker in this too. I will do that off screen though, I think. And I'm not just gonna jump and go ahead and start move, you know, taking pieces off the screen. I'm actually gonna test the new screen first and make sure it works. Okay, there's this loudspeaker box. Because you do not want to do what I've done. And you start moving all the pieces to the new screen. And you're, oh, yeah, this, this isn't bad. I, I can do this, right? And then you start moving everything and realize you plug it in at the end. And the screen doesn't work. And you did all that work for nothing. Yes, it has happened to me. Defective screens happen, even though they're new or supposed to be brand new, you know, refurbished, whatever. Defectives happen. So we're going to test the new one first. What is that? Oh, is that the adhesive? What is that? Maybe that's a screen protector. Oh, lame -o. He didn't put the camera joints in. I got to do that, too. All right, okay, well that's kind of a disappointment. That's why I usually order from Revamp. This time I ordered from somebody on eBay. So, I mean, if this guy's parts were good, I might go ahead and link his eBay store and uh, in the uh, description below later after we officially do this review here. Okay. And he has the flex cable tape down there, okay. Um, we're going to test this before we do anything here else. Okay. So, I think it was off. I hope it's not dead. A little bit. I hope you brought it to me with some charge in it. I hope you guys can see this. I wish somebody would come in the chat and tell me. I'm going to try this again here. And this is, I mean, this is why I don't like these sevens. I've not had enough practice with them, and I just, I'm not used to it. Okay. And then these cables are just a bit. Okay. Nope. These are like little Lego snap connectors. That's what you'd compare them to if you're a Lego person. Uh, like Legos. It should. It should. Seat down. I can't really see what I'm doing very well. Oh my gosh, there's another loose screw in there. Where did he come from? I don't know where he came from, so I'm just going to put him on the outside of the board there, in the white, so I can see it. Jeez, Alex, what were you doing here, buddy? Okay. And I felt that snap down. That time I heard it. Okay. It's not usually all the way connected unless you hear it a little snap. Okay. Now I'm just gonna set the screen on top of the housing and see if it powers on. Okay, can you guys see that? It's showing me the battery symbol, which means it's dead, but the screen looks good. I don't see any lines. Gosh, I'm really trying to let you guys see here. I don't see any lines. So it looks good to me. And I currently don't, oh wait, yeah, maybe I do have an iPhone cable on that. 
thing. Okay, never mind. I might I might have one that's listed that I can at least at the end plug his phone in and charge it and fully test it. Because I always like to fully test everything before I give it back. Because then if somebody says, oh, well, no, this doesn't work. Well, I'm sorry. If that was broke before and you didn't tell me and I didn't find it in my testing, then can't do much. Okay, that's the new screen. I'm putting it up here back in the box out of the way so it won't fall off the table. Because that'd be a pain in the butt cheeks. Um, so now... I believe we are going to start, actually the first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure this with these iPhone 7s last time. This metal backing, see the backlight and everything is in here. In this area is where the backlight is. And if it is touching metal, this metal case, housing, frame, this is the mid frame. If it's touching the back metal mid frame, it'll short out, ruin the screen, blah, 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 blah. So, I'm trying to help myself line it up back better later. I'm actually going to take a picture of it on my DSLR and try to measure it. And I'm doing this because another. YouTube guy I watch that does phone repairs recommends you you do this to measure it because he said he had all kinds of problems where he'd test the screen and then he installed it, like, you know, put the back frame on and everything and then it wouldn't work, so that's why I'm going to do that Doing this half of a recommendation, guys. Because the first time I worked on an iPhone 7, it, I didn't do this, and it was a nightmare. Just saying. It's an absolute nightmare. Is it just me, or does my ruler look like it's the end of its bent? Like it's not straight. It's really weird. Use this corner to line it up. It's about two millimeters, centimeters, whatever that metric stuff is. Okay, that's that's measured to my liking. Hopefully, that will help us at the end. Now I have a picture to look back on and remember how it all went together. Okay. So we're going to start here at the top. And these are Phillips screws. See, this is why, that's that's what I mean about the iPhones. Every time they've done them, they've got harder and harder and harder. And they've changed sizes of screwdrivers. Change the sizes of the screws. What's my standard one? Is it 1.2.8? can't remember. I think it's 0.8. That one just looked like it fit in there. Okay. Again, I'm trying not to be in your way so the camera can see. So, no, that's too small. That was what? Well, that's 0.8. Well, yeah, that's way too small. This one is 1.2. I think 1.2 is the standard one for all the Phillips screws. Unless you're working on an iPhone 6S, then they have one in between those two sizes. Just pain in the ass. Okay, so put our first screw there. Next screw on the yellow dot. On the 
blue dots. What the hell was that? Okay. Come on, baby. Man, that one was in there really tight. So that sometimes happens. Especially when if they're using like electric screwdrivers or something at the iPhone factory to assemble all this stuff. Because there's no way they do it as slow as we do. One by one by one by one. Okay, so now we take the back cover off. Put it up there. I do want it to lay the right way so I know which way it goes back in. Pull the front camera up. This is the earphone speaker piece. Pull him out. And now I'm going to uh, put heat, apply heat to this again because all these little pieces are taped down in there. Like the uh, gold, the little gold circles you see, that's for the earphone speaker so that the signal goes through the cable to the earphone speaker. And all this other stuff I gotta get out. And I don't wanna break it. So, I apply heat. I know I'm kinda of doing this off. I'm doing this here. There you go. I gotta do it down here because if I do it on top of the table, the screws will all, all fly away. So don't want that to happen, right? Fucker oh, gets hot quick. Just saying. Sorry. Keep having to readjust. Okay, now, what little tool am I going to use? Let's try to get in there. Let's see, I wish I had my... You don't want to use metal. Metal will break the cable in half. Did you guys see that? I hope you saw that. I literally just grabbed on this side and just gently started to lift. And as I gently lift, all the little pieces popped right out. Okay, so that's the front camera, proximity sensor. Um, earphone speaker, flex cable, it's all one piece, okay? So since I just pulled that out, I'm put, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put that on the new screen. This is how I like to, uh, shit, I can't do that. Well, I can go ahead and put the cable on, I guess, the flex cable. And his little camera thing came out, so I'll put it in this one on the new screen okay and we're gonna put this back just like we took it out so first thing I'm gonna do is can you see the little can you see the little gold dots I know my camera's terrible There's like holes on there that you can line up huh? with the plastic. Did you go look at that place? Yes, I did. That's terrible. The church burnt all the way to the ground. All the way to the ground. Our old church burnt oh, all the way to the ground. So I'll put that well, down there. And then, I think it's kind of a good thing that it didn't happen. The afraid of the belt is not supposed to be living there. He was living there though. Yeah, yeah. And then you put the tried to get them out, they, you wouldn't flex cables in there, snap the pro pro proximity yeah, sensor down, the and then 
Swag Maven. Yeah, I caught you live. Hey, Swag. Thanks for joining me. We are um, replacing the iPhone screen on a 7 Plus. Okay, so I already put the proximity sensor down in there, and I'm going to... I'll see if I can get it off, all right. While you're down there, will you do me a favor and feed the bunny rabbits and water them first, please? What? No, I'm doing this first. Well, we go down there, while you're down there, we like feed and water them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I can't put the ear speaker in yet because there's a screw down there that I got to unload. Do you need food or anything for supper? Probably not. What about leftovers? Oh, well, there's not much left over. Didn't you put the food in there last night? Yes. Okay. Then you know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know, know where it is. is. Yeah, the cool. kids won't eat it. They didn't like my meatballs. Where are they at? Grandma and Grandpa? Yeah, they wanted to go see Grandma and Grandpa today while I was fixing a phone. Okay, so I'm actually going to leave the ear speaker out. I just got it today. I just started it. I just started it not that long ago. That's cool. Thanks. Thanks for giving me a uh, thumbs up, Swag Maven. Okay, so I've got a new cable there. Now we're going to proceed to... The uh, home button. We're going to take the original home button off because if you do not take the original home button off or you break the original home button, you break the flex cable under here somewhere, then guess what? The touch the touch thing doesn't work anymore. So when you go like that and touch it to unlock your phone, it don't unlock. So you always want to save. And this one, and this is what I'm telling you, we went to, from Philips up here to try wing tip again. But that's how Apple likes to do it. They would like it to be a challenge because they'd really prefer everybody bring their phones back to the iPhone store and wait six or eight weeks for your phone to be replaced. But, I repaired. But why would you do that? If you know somebody locally who can do it for you and have it done in like a day. I usually, if, if it's iPhone 6, 6S, whatever, I can do that with the kids here running around like crazy that don't bother me i can do it in an hour and a half and be done yeah see this man board is missing another screw spot that's the one for the center of the home button and i'm trying to give you the best view possible swag i probably could have uh oh my god i could not wait that long for my phone i know right but that's what they want that's what Apple wants. They even tried to make a law. They even pushed for Congress to pass a law, which would make it illegal for people like me to work on people's phones from home. They tried. Okay, this is the hard part, because I remember now the there's the cable, the snap for the home button. And it snaps under the screen and runs up the back of the screen or whatever. But it's like this. Like, okay, so the home button cable runs this way. And then there's a snappy thing that's like this. And then there's one on the top that snaps down. So this is going to be interesting. Oh, well, it popped right up. Okay. Hey. That was easier than I expected. And I'm going to go ahead and take this metal back frame off because, oh, it needs to go. Well, there's one of the missing screws. Is that a tri-tip? Yep. Okay, it goes here. Came out of the mid-frame housing area. Okay. One, two, three. Oh, missing one there. See, guys, and when that happens, there's nothing I can do about it but just try to put the one screw I have in the best, um, the best spot that I think it'll do the best, provide the best support. Okay, those are all out. These are all out. I'm just checking. Is there any I missed? It is moving, so I guess it's free.
Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Okay. So that's the mid frame off. Now we can actually work on our home button. Yeah, see here. Swag. I'll show you swag. If my camera can like focus. So there's one snap cable here. Okay. And then there's one here, but it's actually loose and it like comes up so that you can remove the home button from the home button flex cable, which runs underneath of it. Come on. Can I? And I've lost my itty bitty tweezers. Okay, and there is heat holding, there's glue holding that down. So I'm applying heat again. Sorry, Deb, this is where it's gonna be loud. Swag said, I had to take my phone apart to replace the battery. I have a ZT Pro Max. I'm not sure what that is. Is that like the uh, kind of similar to the LGs? Because the LGs aren't bad. They're not too bad to work on. Okay. So I'm doing the same thing, just slowly applying even pressure. Okay. That flex cable came up and he pops right out the bottom. Okay, so there's our new screen. We're going to put the flex cable back, the home button back, on the new screen, just like you came out. So up through the, oh, yeah, that's right. They're plastic on the front. So then we pop it up through the home button spot. And come on, baby. And get it in the right position there, which it is now in the right position. Again, got to pull this little snapper dude up. Press down. The adhesive still on the back of the flex cable for the home button, so it will readhese. Oh, I didn't get it in the. Oh, there, there. I got it lined up. I got it lined up. On these flex cables, there's little holes and there's little like divots on this plastic backing to show you where it goes. Okay, so then there, snap in the home button, which we just did. Yeah, that makes me happy. Okay, now this is the hard part. It says two people are watching. I can see the live chat. We are live. If you uh, want to talk to me in the side, you can. Sorry if my video quality may not be the best, but I'm sitting like five foot from my router. Well, three foot from my router, maybe. Okay, so now, what are we gonna do here? I didn't want to, I really don't want to move the flex cable. I'm gonna have to lift it though to get the, Get the back frame on. I'm just sitting here pondering to myself because this is this is the challenge here when you put this back mid frame back on. It never mattered the other ones, but this one it does because the back lights in this little box here. And if that shorts out anywhere on this, then it's it messes up the whole screen and everything. But I talked about that before. I was trying to photograph it. And this cable's gonna have to be loose. Oh, shit. Come on, don't rip the cable. Oh, okay. I hate that tape. I hate that they apply all that tape. So now we stick this back through here like this. Right? Is it like that? Is it like that? Or was it? No, it wasn't like that. It had to be. Okay, so now I'm going to get my camera again because I did take a picture this time. And I know usually you take that plastic stuff off the back, but because these are the iPhone 7, 
because if this cabling is not in the exact correct alignment that's underneath this metal housing, you get lines down the screen, bad backlight, short stuff out. So that's why I took a picture here on my camera. It's okay, I got the phone for the picture taking. Oh, that's cool, swag. So now I'm gonna look at my picture here. I've got a DSLR I use. I, I use it for everything, I love it. See, look how good a picture that is. So, uh, it does look like the side of that square is down underneath of it. It was about two millimeters to the, to the opening. There's my, my ruler. Okay, what's going on here? Why is it? I'm just throw some resistance there. So I'm going to try to get that little corner down there. Okay, it's like that, but it wasn't like that. It's like is it like that? Oh, it can't be like that. It can't be like that either. It's just not like, feels weird. Feels like this cable's too short, to be honest. Kind of wondering. Here. That yeah, that can't be like that. It's got to be like that. It's got to be like that because that just won't sit fat if it's not okay. We're gonna start screwing these back in here. Sorry, I'm I'm I know I'm sitting here like do 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 do, do being so picky, but I'm I'm really trying to do this right the first time. Okay. So I'm going to start attaching the back housing, or this mid-frame here. And then we're going to test it and see, just to make sure no uh, backlight lines have uh, appeared. Also, another key, don't press in the middle of the screen because the LCD is so thin that you could break it from applying pressure to the back. It happens all the time. I've accidentally broke, and I've accidentally broken an iPhone 5 screen one time by trying to just press in too hard on the sides like that, trying to put the screws in here and I pushed too hard and broke the backlight or broke the touch screen. Okay, I forgot to put the uh, cover on here. Good thing I'm thinking. Good thing I'm thinking. Actually, I don't think that one has to come out. Oh, I think this just goes over. Yeah, this just goes over here. Mm 
kind of strange. I'm kind of getting resistance on that point. That's weird. On the point where the flex cable snaps in for the home button. Well, I got it off. Good job, baby. Got the first piece off, and I couldn't get that out, so I had to take that whole thing off. So I'm going to just go get another cast iron piece, put it on there, and put the faucet on there. Sweet. I couldn't get that off. Look, I bent it, and I even got it hot, and it still wouldn't come out, but I at least got that part off. It was just, it was nasty. So, all right, I'm going to go down to FS. And all right, baby. Get that piece for the clothes. I don't blame you. And I can start some laundry. Yeah. Okay. Then put in the last screw here on the home button backing frame. Okay, that's all in there. I'm going to put a couple side screws in just to hold the frame together while I do this. And like I said, this is how you put the screws back in the side of the the mid frame from the side that way you'll be less likely to damage um damage the lcd in the backlight because these iphones are just so fragile they're meant to break you know apple designs them that way if Apple wanted to design them to be tough and drop proof and all that stuff, they would never, they'd sell one round of phones, you know, and then people wouldn't come back for four or five years to buy another phone and they'd lose money. I'm sure that's what it's all about. It's about making you buy a new phone. Gosh, and this one is just being a pain right now. The screw is being a pain. I'm gonna put him in a different spot or something, cause that's just, it's just being a pain to me right now. Come on, screw, get on there, so I can start you in there. It's lined up. I just don't want to go in there. Swag Maven said, are you using a magnetic screwdriver? Yes, I am. And my magnet board. Come on. It just doesn't want to start in that, in that one spot. Okay. That one's in there. Okay, so we're gonna plug it in here and test it and see. Well, I don't know I could have did the rest of that, I guess, real quick, but I want to make sure it actually it's actually gonna work and that it's lined up right before I put anything else into it. Again, it's difficult trying to do this so you guys can see, but there's spot there. Snap down there on the motherboard. Oh, this one's being pain. And you can hear it snap. I don't know if you heard it in my heard it from the video, but you do hear it snap down when you uh, do that. Okay, the screen still looks good to me. I'll show you. 
the screen is the phone is dead, so it won't actually turn on. But you can see the uh, dead battery symbol, and there's no lines running through the screen, which was what I was afraid of. So, oh, you did hear it. Okay, cool. I'm gonna use my thumbnail. I always use my thumbnails to get underneath it there because the worst thing I could do is break a nail, you know. At least I won't break a flex cable or something with a tool. Okay, so now since everything passed my test, we're gonna reinstall the um Oh, wait, I think I got to put, yeah, I got to put this screw down here first. Pull the back frame. Mid frame in place. There's so many frames in this thing. Maybe this is the heat shield. Yeah, I think this is the heat shield. I think the, that's the mid frame. So sorry about my technical. Technical terms, I might have been calling the wrong things the wrong things, but, you know. Come on, baby. Get in there. It just does not even want to start in there. It doesn't. One of these kind of felt like it wasn't lined up right to begin with when I took it out. Come on. You know what? I'm going to loosen some other screws here on the, the back. They're on the frame. Try to get it to move just a tad. Come on, baby, just, just push up just a tad. Just a tad. There, maybe. Sorry if my head's in the way. Oh, duh, that's the problem. I keep forgetting this. These are Phillips up here at the top. That's part of the problem. Trying to screw in a Phillips screw with a tri point. He is not going there at all. And again, I'm trying not to apply any pressure directly to the back of the screen here, or else I'll end up, you could end up breaking the LCD from the back. The back side. Okay, there it finally started in there. I guess I got it lined up right. Okay. Now I'll tighten all these tri wings again. I mean, you don't want them to be too tight because if you have to work on the phone again six months later, you don't want any screws to be hard to get out. Okay, now we got all those in. Now, do, 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 we can put the ear speaker back on. Press it down into place. It's got like springs on the back. Flip the uh, front camera cable over there, over the top of it. See, it doesn't. It's not. Yeah. 
This is the bottom, right? Yeah, that's the bottom where the, the little gold points are to connect to the gold points on the flex cable. Maybe these ones don't have a thing to hold them into place. I thought they did, but I guess they don't. Yeah, they do. Maybe it's not. Just don't want to go. I don't know what the deal is there right now. Okay, so put the, oh, geez, put the front cable on. Front camera. Put it down there. Then we put the bracket back on. When we start screwing it all down, it'll it'll all go back to its it'll sink into place where it's supposed to be. They always do. Okay, I'm gonna put the longest one in first. Phillips, 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 Phillips. And there then there's things like the fact that there's a giant magnet inside the ear speaker. So when you're trying to put your screws in up there, they jump, like jump to the magnet. And you're like, man, come on, come on, come on guys, get in there. Which can become a pain, okay. Put the screw down in there myself. That's what I usually have to do, just like that. So that uh, you can't jump to the ear speaker. See, and it, the screw found its spot where it's supposed to go and it went right down in there. Hey, guess what? Yeah, honey. Roll my window down, and I can't roll back up. You did? Yeah, on my car. Not all the way down, though, right? Halfway. Right. Man. Yeah, can't get back up. What is the deal lately with our cars and the windows going out? Maybe we just... Right, I'm going to put this, put this on. Maybe we need to retire all our cars. Put back on it. Oh, I know what's wrong here. Mm -hmm. Okay, never mind. Joanna made a mistake. She put one screw in the wrong order. That might be why everything else is not wanting to sit correctly. Sorry if I keep putting my head in the way. Thank you for giving me two thumbs up, whoever's watching, with uh, Swag Maven. There, now, now it seems like it's sitting down more level. And the things with, you know, working on a phone is it's just kind of trial and error. Oh, the Flippin' Hustler went live. Hey, friends, thank you for joining us. I just saw you in the chat. Taking phones apart and laptops too. Wow, swag. I guess we have more in common than we knew, huh? Love that stuff. I'm not so much into taking a laptop apart. But I have no problem working on phones. Now Swag, why don't you do this uh, as a, why don't you do that as a side job, girl? If you get good at it, you can Get, hand out business cards and people just start knocking on your door. Can you fix my phone? At least that's what happened to me. Sorry, I was holding the top of the screwdriver. 
Why is that not? That don't look like it's screwing in there. Come on, baby. No, it's not. It's not going in at all. Why is it not going into its spot? That is where it comes came from because I took it off the magnet board. And that's where it was. When I took it out. I'm very sorry, guys, if I keep holding my hands in front of the uh, where I'm working here. Maybe they didn't have a, a good screw joint in that. It's just weird. Maybe I can put that screw somewhere else. And it looks like it's lined up. Try it one more time. Okay, Swag said, I still have a lot to, more to learn though. I've Hickory Spring said, I replaced LCD screens on my laptops. I, oh man, that's, I still think that's gonna be hard because you gotta take the whole display apart, you know? I don't know if I'd be down for that. I've worked, now I don't have a problem working on a desktop computer with an actual tower, you know? I have no problem doing that. So changing power supplies and CD-ROMs and RAM and all that. That's not <coughs> that difficult. <clears throat> That's okay, Joanne. It's a good angle. Okay. I put RAM in, too, and learned a lot just by watching the videos on YouTube. Swag, not gonna lie. This is how I've learned everything about iPhone repair or uh, any phone repair. Is I look up videos on YouTube. And then if it's not there, I look on Google. Hickory Springs said, if you can replace, if you can fix cell phones, you can replace a laptop LCD. I probably could. I just haven't tried. Okay, so we got everything here. See, so we got our, all our little screws back in there. Along the housing. And got our home button replaced and the accessories at the top. So now, um, oh, I got to fix, I got to replace the, the loudspeaker, but I have not done that on these before. So I might um, save that to do in a second. Swag said, I don't need a man, but I would like, I would like one. <laughs> right. Exactly. It's like, yeah, it'd be nice to have a man that could help me uh, figure this all out, right? Okay, so I'm not going to actually reinstall the screen right now because I'm going to have to look up on Google how to replace the LCD or the loudspeaker, not the LCD, the loudspeaker for like when he's watching YouTube and you can hear it out loud. One would be fun for a toy. <laughs> I know, right? Okay. So I'm just going to show you how, like, if you were going to reinstall this, this is, you know, this is what you do. First of all, what you, you're supposed to do is put replacement adhesive around the frame. But I guess I thought the one, the screen I ordered came with it, but I guess it didn't. So, and Alec didn't really have much adhesive left on the inside of his screen at all. So I'll tell him, you know. I'm going to try to put some replacement adhesive in there that I've got, but if it's not the best, he's not going to throw a fit over it because he's like, well, I drop my phone all the time. Okay. So we're trying to plug in the uh, front accessory cable here for the front camera and mother, the, all that stuff, proximity sensor, all that good stuff here, speaker. So you line it up, line the cable up with the snapper on the motherboard, and press down, and it should snap. That one didn't snap, but it, I felt it sunk down. I'm going to have to watch the rest later because i got to eat dinner. Nice to see you, Hickory Springs. Okay, thank you, Swag Maven, for joining us. Okay, then we uh, just kind of flipped, you know, like I did. I just kind of went from like this to this. Oh, 
Oh man, I think that's him. Let me see. It probably is him. Yeah, right now. Yeah. Hey, I like flying. And I want to. I'm actually getting ready to put your loudspeaker back in. And your phone. And place the loudspeaker. I got your new screen on there, and it works good. Uh, Except your phone's dead, so I couldn't like test anything. Yeah. Sorry, I'm using. I was recording a video for my. YouTube channel. See, I don't want to look like. Yeah, see, and these are a lot different than the the sixes. Because it opens like a book. Huh. Does that make it harder to do? It makes it a little harder to snap these cables in. Right. For me. Right. But it's not that bad. Okay, so you know, I'll show you. Oh, yeah. Does that look good to you? Looks great. Okay. <laughs> All right. Cool. You want to come back in like 15, 20 minutes? I'll have your loudspeaker in. Yeah. yeah okay. Um, I'm going to grab some food. I got to hear like 30 minutes so I got to get ready to go to Jacksonville for a dinner. Okay. Well, I will have it done for you before then. What's up, dude? What's up? Right. Thank you. Yeah, no Shit, let's get done. Fix the fucking water pipe downstairs. Oh, yeah? Yeah, now it's time to go weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so thank you guys so for joining me. I just got to fix, replace the loudspeaker, but I just showed you how you would put it back together. And you just... Go like this. And then this phone will snap. The screen will all snap right back down into the frame. But of course, you still want to put the screws in and the back covers and all that stuff. But because I want to research how to take the loudspeaker out before I just decide to rip it out while I'm live on YouTube, I'm going to end my video and actually um, do that off camera. So. You checking it right? Yep. And Alex agrees. The screen looks great. He's happy. Cool. So how long did you tell him to be? I told him come back in 20 minutes and I'd have his loudspeaker put back in. Because I don't think it'll take me very long, but I don't. I gotta. I gotta look to see what to do. Okay, thank you, Hickory Springs, for joining me. Thank you, Deb at Swag Mavens for joining us. Um. Okay, let me see what she said. Hickory Springs said, "So funny because my daughter cracked her iPhone screen again recently." <laughs> That's all right, Hickory Springs. I might be able to send you a video on how to fix it. Where, where did you get the parts? Okay, I did order these parts off of eBay. Since we're all eBayers. And it doesn't... Oh! Oh, oh, oh. So I was right. Guys, look. I will show you the sh shipping label. I don't care about my address so much, but... Can you see what it says there at the top? Online seller... Henner, Kentucky. Isn't that where we send everything for the global shipping program, guys? Hmm. So this guy said he was in America, had the parts in America. No wonder it took a week and a half for the parts to get here. First China. class. Because it came directly from China. China. See, that's why I'm about ready to start just China. buying all that shit wholesale myself. So I got it here. Weird, weird. That's where global shipping is. Exactly. That's my point. I think all those people from China that they're like putting all that crap on a boat or an airplane and mailing it there and then global shipping is dispersing it to us. That's what I think. Because the shipping, the tracking num number never did scan in and it still hasn't scanned in. It doesn't show it's delivered. Hey, I need a payment of $85 for my plumbing uh, expenses. Okay, I'll take care of that for you. Okay, Hickory Springs. Um, what did she say? Again, we always pay $100 to get her screen replaced. What kind of iPhone does she have? Hello, Flippin' Hustler. What's up? Okay, since I'm I'm just talking about... Valerie? Is it Valerie at Hickory Springs? I, Flippin' Hustler. I, I, I bungled your brain the other night, right? When I gave you a... Okay, you know... I bought two different parts from two different sellers on eBay with two different usernames. Where did uh, 
She did, she says it's a six or a seven. I do the sixes for eighty five bucks all day long. Six success. I do them for eighty five bucks all day long, and I'm still getting my fifty dollars labor. Um. Okay. Flippin' hustler. Flippin' hustler. I'm trying to get the I'm trying to get the return label to show again. But it says it came from Kentucky. Hebron, Kentucky, where global shipping stuff comes from. So Yes, it's Valerie. Okay, great. I I'm glad I remember that right. All right. Well, I'm gonna tell you everybody, thank you for coming and joining me. And if you want, you can always watch the replay later. And I will put in a link below to the guy's eBay store where I bought this part from. Online seller from Hebron, Kentucky. I I can I doubt it because originally on eBay he said his location was in I looked because I was trying to find the closest one so that it'd be here quick for Alex. I think I said something like show me all the ones within 500 miles or without no not 500 miles within like 150 miles. I will rewatch yeah, okay, I got two, but that's where my part came from. And the tracking never, never, number never did update. It took a week and a half. These Chinese sellers are liars. They are. They're liars. They say they're from the U.S., and then they're shipping that stuff, global shipping, to the eBay's global shipping center, where eBay turns around and ships it out to us. I'm telling you, that's exactly what happened. I got the proof. So, again, thank you, guys. Please leave me a thumbs up. I will see you later. Thank you, Flippin' Hustler, Hickory Springs, and Deb from Swag Maven for being here with us. I'll see you later. Bye. All right. You done? Let me hit this button. Hold on. So I gotta go potty.